Boys and girls, we're up to week three of the G's. We've had gospeling and we've had gathering. Does anyone know what today's G might be already? Not growing. Right, and I don't know that I did enough of that when I was a kid because I'm not real tall. So I just, I thought, you know, might be fed on something a little bit healthy. Do you like healthy, good food to make you grow? No. No? Do you like apples, Joe? Yeah, me too. This one's pretty good. Mm, not so good. Can you hear me crunching down the back? Mm, so good. There's always hope that I might grow. Now, Mr Bailey is preaching today. He's doing a sermon. Do you think he might stand up there and he's going to tell us about being fed and eating healthy food and that's going to help us grow? No, I don't think he is either. I think you'd be a bit disappointed if I told you to all go and sit back down now and that you just need to go home and eat some healthy food to grow. That's not what he's going to talk about. He wants us to be growing as disciples. Now, I've got five fingers again today, but it's not the five you know. To be a good disciple, we need to be wholehearted student followers of Jesus. That's still a lot of big words. So what could I do to be a disciple? How would I be fed as a disciple? What might I need? Because I don't think Apple's going to help in that situation. What was that say? You're going to need God's word. So we need the Bible, God's word, and we need to be fed in God's word. So that doesn't just mean on Sunday we come and open our Bible and have a little look and then maybe once a week have a little look. We need to be fed in God's word and we need to get to know Jesus through reading God's word. And as we get to know Jesus, we're going to come to church and gather with God's mob as a church and get to know Jesus more that way. We need to pray and talk to Jesus. And as we get to know Jesus... We're going to love him more and as we love him more, we're going to grow to be more like him and then that way we are growing as disciples. So not our healthy food. We need to grow as disciples to be fed through God's word. And I want you to pray with me today as we finish. So we're going to pray together and ask God to help us to grow and be fed in his word. But instead of me just praying, I'm going to say a little bit and then you're going to say it and then I'll say another bit and then you're going to say it if you'd like to. Can you do that with me today? So if you close your eyes and put your hands like this, that might help you listen to me. All right. Dear Father God, thank you for your Bible, your word. Please help us to get to know Jesus as we read and feed in your word. Help us to be wholehearted student followers of Jesus. Amen. Good job. Now this week as you eat some healthy food that's going to help you grow, all week every time you have a meal, think, oh, how can I actually be growing as a wholehearted student follower of Jesus? So don't just eat the dinner, have a think while you're doing it, or your morning tea, or your lunch, or your in-between snacks, every time you have something to eat.